Hello everybody, this is Christian Homburg from the University of Mannheim in uh, Germany. It is the first time that I give a digital speech to an AMA audience. Um, well, first of all, I would like to thank the AMA for nominating me as an AMA fellow. I feel deeply honored by this nomination. I would also like to thank the nomination committee chaired by Anders Gustafsson. The title of my short speech is Managerially Relevant Marketing Research and then a little provocative question, Fighting a Losing Battle. To make a long story short, I definitely think that we have an issue in rigor beating relevance in many aspects of our discipline. First of all, this conflict is not new at all. Here I have two sites from um, 1985. Um, Morris Holbrook uh, published an article uh, of which it is sufficient to read the title Why Business is Bad for Consumer Research. On the other hand, uh, a statement I like much better is by Jacoby, uh, Perspectives of Consulting. By consulting he essentially means talking to managers. So he tells people that consulting helps him to expand his own intellectual horizons and to challenge whether his basic thinking holds in the broader context of the real world. So two totally opposing statements, interestingly, both from people from consumer research. Second, of course, there are attempts to overcome this conflict. There are special issues, there are special conferences. My problem with these things is that all of them are special. So let's look a little at what is normal in our field. Let's look at the role that managerial relevance plays in PhD programs. Ask yourselves if you have a PhD program, how much exposure do your PhD students get to real world managers? Look at the selection criteria for academic positions and tenure at leading schools. Managerial relevance hardly plays any role at all here. And finally, look at the reviewing and selection of papers to be published in leading marketing journals. Here, rigor beats managerial relevance. I have to say that editors typically recognize this problem especially the JM editors under Christine Moorman do a fantastic job in promoting uh, managerially relevant research. However, the problem is usually not the editors, it's usually the reviewers. What are the consequences of this? Well, as a consequence, research typically focuses on very specific issues. In reality, however, many marketing challenges do appear in a broader context organizational, cultural, leadership and HR issues play a significant role in these fields. Now, as soon as you develop a broader framework, you risk to get this typical sentence from review processes. Is this really a marketing paper? Additionally, research, in my opinion, is increasingly driven by data availability. I get to see quite a lot of papers where it seems that data were there first and then people try to build a story around uh, existing data. In this way, very rarely will there be managerially relevant research. When I learned about academic marketing research, I was told that there are three fields, consumer research, quantitative modeling and marketing strategy and management, which should stand in a reasonable balance with each other. This chart here it shows for a long time the share of these three categories for JM and JMR. The blue line is consumer research, the red line is marketing strategy and management, the green line is quantitative modeling. Now clearly we see that marketing strategy and management is losing share. At the same time consumer research and quantitative modeling our winning share. So we have a problem here. 
This is not to say that consumer behavior research is unimportant, not at all, but to a certain extent we are losing balance. Let me address one additional issue, B2B versus B2C. This statistic shows you the journal of marketing distribution of these two categories and basically the message is we come from a situation at the end of the last millennium where both of them were approximately equally distributed. Today we have an 80-20 distribution uh, in favor of B to C. Now if we remind ourselves of the fact that more than 75% of the revenues globally come from B2B transactions, then we clearly have a problem here. B2B is not uh, enough represented in academic research. One key reason for this decline may be that B2B studies typically are based on data from companies which, as I'm sure many of you know, are more and more difficult to get. Let me briefly describe what we do here in Mannheim to overcome this potential problem. These logos show you the members of the partner circle of our Institute for Market-Oriented Management. So these companies are members of the partner circle and they are represented by senior managers. And uh, when we do empirical research, we address these companies. So we address people we know, we don't go out and just try to find data. This is an investment, of course, which definitely requires time. But it is important. I see few initiatives like this in leading US schools. Two exceptions I'm aware of are ISBM at Penn State and uh, the activities that Mike Ahern is running at UT Houston. So, to sum it up, what should be changed to avoid losing the battle? We need changes in our doctoral programs. Yes, econometrics are important, but managerial relevance is also important. Hiring and tenure decisions need to be adapted. Yes, research is important, no doubt about that. But you should also look a little more at managerial relevance. Review processes, I mentioned that, need to change. And finally, we need to change our own activities as marketing academics. We need to spend more time on talking to managers. It's harmful sometimes, but it's helpful. Thank you very much for listening.